Hey folks, I'm Mr. Hartzler, and I wanted to talk to you about activity 3.1.5. This is part three. And in this one, they don't ask you to type in an initial program and then change it. They just want you to type in this program and take a peek at what happens. If you look at the top right of your screen, they have you define a function called LED control, and they want that to cause an LED to be on when the button switched, or sorry, bump switch is pressed, and off when it is not pressed. So if you look up at your code on the left side of your screen now, we have an infinite loop, and inside that infinite loop, we just type in the word LED control, start and end our parentheses, and then we end it with a semicolon. This is a function call, so we're just saying, hey, do this thing that we called LED control. Way above task main even, we have void and then LED control. That's just us declaring the variable and saying that it exists. And below task main, this one right here in 42, that's the end of task main. So the rest of this is outside of it. So the computer doesn't read any of this, at least not by default. When we tell it to, well, first declare the variable and then we say, hey, do it now when we're inside the infinite loop, it pops outside and reads all of this information. And we have that so that if the sensor value of the bump switch is one, or if the bump switch is pressed, turn the LED on. And then we have to say it's the green one or the one in the green port. And else, or if the bump switch is not one, so it's not being pressed, turn the LED off. So let's compile the program, download it to the robot, and we should notice that when we press our bump switch, the uh, light turns on. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see me pushing the bump switch over here. If I push the bump switch, what happens? Kind of hard to see. Oh, I haven't hit the start button yet. There's start. If I hit the button, you can see it lights up a little bit. It's looking this one right here by my pinky. If I push the bump switch, that LED turns on. If I release, it turns off no matter how short or long I hit it. And it happens repeatedly because we are in an infinite loop. Hopefully that was helpful. And if it was, click that like button below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I also have a website if you want to see all of these projects in order, mrclayhartzler.weebly.com. Have a great day, everybody.